Remember that video I made a while ago about inscriptions cut content? Uh, yeah, me neither, but it looks like I actually missed some stuff. This is a post by Death Card Curtis, and I'll link this in the description, but it looks like there are a few unused card arts in the game's files. Now, uh, I didn't know about this, and, uh, you know, I just found it. It doesn't look like a whole lot of eyes have seen this, so I figured most of you guys probably don't know about this either, so I thought it'd be cool to show you. But yeah, technically this is old news. This was posted before Casey's mod was even a thing yet. And that's part of the reason why I think this is indeed legit, because the first, uh, the first card art here is the Lammer. Obviously, this is a card that was added to Casey's mod, but what this means is that the card was in the files before Casey's mod, and it was just maybe going to be a part of the original game, but was removed for whatever reason. Now, aside from that, out of these six, there is another one that we've seen before, and that is the Stoat artwork from Casey's mod as well. Uh, but aside from that, the other four are new. I've never seen them before this post. And the first one is actually another version of the stoat. This is the bloated stoat. I believe this is a reference to Sacrifices Must Be Made, which is essentially like the, uh, the prologue to Inscription. In that game, uh, if you summon a stoat by specifically sacrificing, I think, either a rabbit or the warren card, uh, the stoat becomes, like, the artwork changes and it gains more uh, health, I believe. It becomes bloated. So this seems to be a reference to that, and maybe that was originally going to be a mechanic in Inscription as well. It's also interesting to note that, again, these were, you know, in the files before Casey's mod, so it makes you wonder if, uh, originally there was different plans with the whole PO3 stoat thing. And then another interesting about this bloated stoat is that, again, in Sacrifices Must Be Made, this triggers when you sacrifice, like, a rabbit. Um, but here in, uh, the main Inscription game, According to Death Card Curtis, the Field Mice card has an unused tag called Feeds Stoat. So maybe originally it would have had to do with the Field Mice card making the Stoat become bloated. Now the rest of these are quite interesting. Um, and again, not anything I've seen before. First I want to look at the stones, which is just the, uh, Sacrifice Sigil, uh, event, but as a card artwork for some reason. So that's pretty interesting. It might mean that originally events were going to work a bit differently. Maybe they were going to be presented as cards or something along those lines. Or perhaps there was going to be a card that was, you know, also the stones for some reason might have functioned similarly. Uh, so that one's pretty interesting. Next up is the Hare Hunter or the Hunter Hare. Uh, we're not sure which one exactly is the name, but I would guess Hare Hunter. This one's got some pretty interesting artwork, uh, you know, it looks cool, but what's especially, uh, like, unique and different about this artwork is that you'll see the artwork is a bit, like, taller than your normal inscription card, you know what I mean? Like, the dimensions don't, uh, they're not the same as other, uh, other card artworks. In fact, this thing doesn't really fit on a card, <laughs> so maybe that has some reason, uh, to do with why this card was cut because the artwork literally, like, doesn't fit on a card. And you have to wonder why that's even the case in the first place. Maybe this was, like, very early on, and, like, before the, uh, you know, cards were kind of standardized in terms of the size of the artwork and things like that. Uh, so that one's pretty interesting. Yeah, and this is the only one among these, uh, six unused card artworks here that have that sort of, uh, difference to it. So... Yeah, pretty, pretty strange. And then lastly, we have the sinkhole. Now, uh, what's interesting about this card is that it corresponds to another unused thing in Inscription that I did talk about in that last uh, cut content video, uh, which is the unused sinkhole sigil. Now, a lot of sigils are sort of like exclusive to certain cards, like only one card might naturally have a specific sigil. And I think that would have been the case with this card and the Sinkhole Sigil as well. Uh, they apparently have the same name, and, you know, so that would make sense. So it looks like both the Sinkhole card and the Sinkhole Sigil were cut. Uh, now, people have talked about the Sinkhole Sigil before. I have seen discussion on that, and it seems like a lot of people think that uh, one of the possible reasons that it was cut, and therefore this card as well, was that it was just too strong. Now, we don't know exactly what the Sinkhole Sigil would have done, but what we do know is that it had a very high, like, rating within the game's code. 
In particular, there is a um, sort of another hidden mechanic within the game that each sigil has kind of like a a point value assigned to it. Yeah, so it's called Sigil Power Level, and each sigil has uh, an assigned power level uh, between, it looks like, negative three and five. Now, five, of course, is the highest level. There are very few sigils that have such a high power level. Uh, those are Trifurcated and Trinket Bearer, which are definitely pretty strong ones. And then the other three are Steel Trap, Tidal Lock, and Omni Strike. Tidal Lock and Omni Strike are only found on, like, the moon. Uh, and Omni Strike is also on the Limoncello. And then Steel Trap is only found on uh, Leshy's or the Trapper Trader Boss Fights cards. So, yeah, interestingly, most of the five power level cards are uh, exclusive to Leshy. So that makes me wonder if the Sinkhole card might have possibly been another card that only Leshy would have had access to. Another reason that I think this might be a possibility is that uh, the Sinkhole isn't really, you know, a creature like most other cards. It's more so like an inanimate object. And that can also be said for that uh, other card, the Stones, that was removed. So perhaps they were removed simply because they don't really match the theme of the rest of the cards being, like, creatures. Um, or perhaps, you know, it was something else. Maybe they were Leshy exclusive cards. So again, because the Sinkhole uh, Sigil would have had a value of 5, a lot of people think that maybe it was really, really strong. Uh, and again, the few cards that, or sigils rather, that do have a power level of 5 are like pretty powerful and exclusive ones. But I think it's also worth noting that uh, the actual power level doesn't always necessarily indicate the power of a card. Or I keep saying card, but I mean sigil. Uh, for example, the best sigil in the whole game is, you know, unkillable. And that only has a power level of 2, so... <laughs> So yeah, other than that, um, you know, obviously we have Lammer, which was later added to Casey's mod. We've got the Stoat, which was added to Casey's mod, that specific artwork anyways. Uh, you've got the Bloated Stoat, which is like, you know, that's a reference to uh, Sacrifices Must Be Made, so we at least kind of know what that was. Uh, but the other three are, are pretty mysterious, you know. It's interesting to think that the Lammer was originally cut for some reason from the game, and then was later added to Casey's mod. Like, you have to wonder... Why was it deemed, you know, not good enough uh, for the original game, but then later it was like, oh, actually, this is fine to bring in the Casey's mod. Lammer is a pretty unique card in that it has its own, you know, exclusive attack sigil. So I wonder if maybe these other cards were also, like, fairly unique. And then Sinkhole and the Stones are also, again, inanimate objects, not creatures like most of the other cards. Uh, but then you also have this Hair Hunter card, which, I mean, looks like a pretty, you know, normal card. It's got creatures on it. The only thing is that the artwork is off in terms of the size of it, so... Really interesting stuff overall here, you know, obviously there's a lot of uh, mystery to it, which is pretty cool. Uh, so let me know what you think of all these in the comments, what you think each of the cards would have done, or what exactly is going on with them. Again, thanks to Death Card Curtis for posting this, uh, and there's a link in the description to this post uh, over on Reddit. Reddit.com. And uh, that's all I got for now. I'm going to go do some Skullstorm runs, and uh, I'll see you next time.